What's up? Hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you how to make your first game in less than seven minutes. And that's a pretty tall, tall order. So let's get to it. Uh, first of all, we're going to be starting off with an app template. You can get this in, you can get this from different places. Um, we offer several app templates in Blue Cloud Solutions, uh, in Blue Cloud Select, which is our membership area. You can download them for free. And, uh, you know, just get started. That's the fastest way we know how to get started. So what are we going to cover here? We're going to cover how to make, how to get your first game up and running and customized in less than seven minutes. And obviously I've done some, uh, you know, pre-video setups, but as you can see, uh, it's going to be really easy. And my, my goal here is not to get you a complete app. The biggest hump that um, a lot of our members face is just getting over that initial roadblock of I can't make my own app it's too technical blah 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 right so this is going to get you past that so let's get started first of all when you sign up for blue cloud select you'll be able to get into the membership area and one of the downloads that we have to offer is tap to shoot so we're going to open this tap to shoot zip file here and then we're going to open that up and then this is going to be the code right so we're we're creating a game that's going to be similar to our tap to shoot game that's here on the um, iTunes store. So the first thing you want to do actually is go into iTunes and download this game. It's free. Um, it's monetized through ads, so you don't have to pay anything. And just play with it. See how the game plays. And then once you do that, then you can start, then you'll have an understanding of how the game works and you can better customize it. Incidentally, all these steps are going to be outlined on our blog. I, I wrote a complete blog post on this. Uh, so if you need to get all the uh, instructions in written format, then go to bluecloudsolutions.com and check that out. But let's continue. So the next step is going to be to open this game in Corona. And you can Corona is just another platform that you can use to build a game. Corona is a free software, so just head over to coronalabs.com or do a Google search for Corona SDK. And you can just go to the site, download the simulator, and that's what you'll use for this tutorial. There are several different ones out there, but we're going to use Corona. So let's get to that. Let's see if I can find my Corona simulator. There we go. OK. <clears throat> now we're going to open the project that we have. And you're looking for the main.lua file right here. Open that. OK. And then you're going to get the simulator. Boom. And it's going to look exactly like the game you downloaded on your phone. So when we press play, we we can start shooting like that, right? Okay, so as you can see, well, let's start this over. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, as you can see, it's already been customized. So how did I do it? So as you can see from the icons here, this is going to be a bullet. So this was originally a bullet. What I did is what I did is I replaced the bullet with this little duck. How did I do that? It was pretty simple. So I went into the image files here, and let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so these files are the bullet files, and I think this is actually pulling from a previous version of the program that I did. But it doesn't matter. You'll see that in a minute. So these are the three bullets that should be here where this duck is, right? And that's because, uh, there, well, there are three of them just because um, it's going to tailor itself to different devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that bullet with the duck. So I have this duck here that I found on some, you know, clip art, free clip art site. I just downloaded it just for, just as an example. And then I resize that so that it's the same size as one of these as one of the bullets. So the way you figure that out is you right click on it or actually in OS 10 you can see it down below here 18 by 31. So you just resize your duck to 18 by 31 which I did here. As you can see it's 18 by 31 there. And then you just copy and then paste that into this folder. And once you do that, oh, another thing is you make sure that you use the same uh, file name here so that it overwrites this. And once you do that, then you'll have something like this, where the duck now replaces the bullet. 
and you can just shoot that to your heart's content. So that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Pretty simple, right? Now you're going to go through and replace all the other graphics with something that you want. Um, you see this big, ugly blue cloud solutions thing here because we need to watermark our graphics so that you know other people don't copy it. So you're going to go in and you just replace all that stuff and put in your own graphics, your own buttons, and then you have a working game. So that was easy, right? So in less than seven minutes, we had a we have a game functional on your computer, customized, and you can play it. Pretty cool, right? All right, just a couple of quick tips before we end this video. First, make sure that you have graphics that are legal. That is, that you can use them in a game that you're going to publish. If you're not going to publish a game and you just want to use this as an exercise like I'm doing here, then it really doesn't matter what graphics you use because you're never going to uh, put this out into the world. So just be cognizant of that. Also remember that different templates are going to be built specifically for different platforms. So in this example, this tap to shoot game was built for Corona, but there could be other templates that are built for Unity or you know whatever whatever platform that developer decided to create it for. So don't think that you can just use any any uh, template in Corona, right? That was just for this um, exercise. So just a couple of points to keep in mind. For more information on how to get past this point, how to hire graphic artists if you're not a graphic designer yourself, if you want to change the code, how to hire developers, go to Blue Cloud Solutions and check out our blog. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.